ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Roleplay Fallout New Vegas. In the last one, we completed our objective in Vault 22, though we did not recover the data, as it was very dangerous uh, to the people of the NCR. So, with... Um, Healy? Yeah, Healy. We managed to destroy the research and prevent it from happening again. Now, we're back in West Side, getting ready to talk to Miguel at his pawn shop before we start investigating Howdy. the disappearances Ooh. <laughs> of NCR refugees. Hey, Miguel. Here to do business? Sure are. Of course. Alright, what we got? Hey, I need some shades, actually. When I can find them. There's some surplus ammo we can pick up. Some casings. Yeah. Okay. I bet we can sell the flamer. Yeah. Yeah, we can. And pleasure doing back on top of you. it. Thanks. Until next time. Absolutely. All right. Plenty of surplus ammo. Howdy. Oh, howdy. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to West Side? Uh, what are you doing, West Side? I help tend the crops. Stand watch for fiends and generally help keep things civilized. How long have you lived in the West Side? Years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. West Side was a good place to settle down as any. Nice to hear. Nice to meet you, Mr. Krieger. Uh huh. Yeah. Can't go anywhere else. That's mean son of a bitch. Oh, hi again. How you doing? Uh, who are you? Marshal Fabrice. Uh, it's uh, nice to meet you, Marshal Fabrice. My pleasure is on mine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, they're not doing too terrible. Back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. Maybe. Uh, hopefully they can help with their PR. Hi there. Welcome to the West Side Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. Hey, Etienne. Uh, so, uh, what's your story? Well, I've lived in Nevada all my life. Started out in New Reno, but headed down here as soon as I got the chance. If you can believe it, things are even worse back home. The whole city's still run by crime families. It used to be the Mordinos and Wrights. Now it's the Wrights and Van Graffs. Seems like things never got better. Anyway, that's all behind me now. Good to hear. Tell me about your co-op. It might not look like much, but it's what keeps us West Side locals independent. We started it a few years ago. I admit we had a lot of trouble at first, but eventually we got some help from Tom Anderson with the followers. We're finally to the point where the co-op members can start making money from sales instead of just breaking even. Nice. Well, what do you have for sale? Right. Wow. Quite a bit. Well, 
done. I can see some absinthe. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. See you later. See ya. <sighs> Saint J. Every time he gets me that one. Hey, you say James? Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? Huh. What do you do around here? Me and Dermot work salvage around New Vegas. Well, tell me about Dermot, not your partner. What do you even mean? He's Dermot. Dermot knows how to work salvage better than any man I ever met. Doesn't go asking questions all day, neither. Okay. Some people have gone missing. Uh... Officers at the Aerotech Park say they were last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. <laughs> and yet you know the missing people are refugees. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, uh... Fuck you, you got nothing on me and Dermot. Yeah, all right. We gotta go through this again? What's it about this time? Hey, yeah, goodbye. Fuck off. Better watch yourself. And you! I got nothing you need. If it's cash you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. <laughs> well, what do you do around here, Dermot? Me and my partner, St. James, work salvage around Westside. That's all. Why is your partner called St. James? Because it's his name. He may be high strong, but he's alright. Hauls his half of scrap, which is all I need. Okay. Yeah, beat it. So they stay at Casa is this Madrid? Yeah. Hey Marco. Yeah. What is it? I had a couple questions about your tenants. Yeah, cool. How about Dermot? Well, next prospect is all up here. Good at what he does. Been renting a room here for a year or so. Nothing special. All right. Well, what about uh, St. James? But he pays his rent. His sweetie seems to like him all right. Sweetie. Catch you later then. All right. Thanks, Marco. Ah. Hey, Boone, why don't you stay out here with Eddie? I'll sit tight. Thanks. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the Casa Madrid. If you got an itch need scratching, you came to the right place. Just watch how you treat the merchandise. Okay. And um, who's the merchandise? Three flavors to choose from. Sweetie, Maud, and Jimmy. Sweetie's the house favorite, for reasons that should be obvious. Mod is what you might call the discount rack. She's what a customer wears if he doesn't have the caps to afford Sweetie, or just like some old. Jimmy's more of a specialist. I only hear good things. What do you do around here? I look at the only reasons anyone would want to spend any time here. I'm a pimp. All Marco does is collect rent and take a small cut of my action. He sure as hell doesn't clean the rooms. Fair. And, uh, you're the pimp, so you're not any other merchandise yourself. Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around who'd want to screw that. No, I just run things. Okay. Um, how did you get burned so badly? We don't talk about that. Next topic. Yeah, you're right. Uh, my apologies. You know where to find me. Yeah. Okay. Marco's apartment. Dermot's Ledger. It's going to be a little different than the one I kept for hauling scrap, huh? But I've been a strong believer in keeping straight books. It's a motor runner, teen girl, 500 caps, adult man, 38, zero caps. 
Richard his word paid the top money for the girl, plus a bonus for first delivery. I paid nothing for the girl's father who took a swing to him when I'm tied. Gotta keep it well secured. Also, keep SJ St. James off the girls as the fans don't fiends don't eat goods. It's a motor runner. Adult woman, 28, 250 caps. Old woman, 25 caps. Old man, 25 caps. Baby boy, zero caps. You gotta be more select, careful selecting what we deliver. Runner like the woman, of course, but the baby's worthless except to make sure the woman does as she's told. Her parents next to worthless. She have killed and left them. On the bright side, runner says we can start dealing with fiends closer by. So no more team folks all the way to Vault 3. Team FI, team girl, 400 caps. Team boy, 150 caps. Girl, child girl, 7. 50 caps. More like it learned from the past and got rid of mom and dad along the way. Try to get more for the young one. I said, hey, give her time to spread out. Oh, gosh. But if I wouldn't have it, it's kept SJ off the girl so long as he gets his damn teddy. He's a sick one, but I guess the work calls for it. To cook, cook. Adult woman, 200 caps. Teen girl, 400. Teen girl, 400. Teen boy, 100. Did not like dealing with this cook, cook. I didn't know if he'd pay us or burn us. I guess what they do with them once they got them is up to them. is my business. But he didn't even wait for us to turn the corner before he was torching the boy and making the women folk watch. Let's hope to deal with the fire next time. St. James's apartment. I don't know. Teddy bear. So sweetie likes him. Anderson's apartment. Hey. You Anderson? I'm Anderson. Can I help you? Yeah, what do you do? I'm one of the followers of the apocalypse. And I help the locals in Westside grow crops. Unlike the NCR, the followers don't expect anything back. The soil in the hot, dry environment don't make it easy. But we get by all right. We even got our own food store, the Westside Co op, complete with basic refrigeration. Wow. Tell me more about the co-op. The co-op is comprised of Westside locals and read by Clinton and Tony. They produce all of their own food and share the profits with the co-op. And do you have a problem with the NCR, Anderson? I don't go looking for fights with them, but they don't have the best interests of people in mind. Certainly not locals. The bottom line for NCR is productivity and growth. Politicians back in Shady Sands are completely detached from the people actually living here. Maybe. But some NCR citizens generally, genuinely want to see the, uh, the region prosper. Ooh. Let's see here. Pretty Sarah. Or Sweetie? Oh, there's... Hey there. Oh, my. No, ma'am. Jimmy. Hey, baby, what say you and me get acquainted? Uh, so you work for Pretty Sarah? I bring in the customers, and she makes sure no one gets robbed. Sarah's good people. Good enough, anyway. Yeah. And tell me about yourself. Because I'm the sweetest piece you'll ever find anywhere outside of the strip. Wouldn't you make more money working on the strip? I got my start at the Gomorrah. Good money, but I saw how those Omeras hooked girls on free jet or medex. Then start charging. Slavery through a needle is what that is. I earn less out here, but I keep more. I understand. You know, uh, St. James? Sure do. St. James is my number one customer. He's a prospect who pays Marco to stay here at the Casa Rigi Rigi. 
I don't know why his friend Dermot chose to stay here. He's never been with me or nobody else. But St. James likes having me close at hand. Oh. Now, does St. James pay you for anything unusual? A client's got a right to privacy, so it'll cost 200 caps for me to tell you all about it. Uh, let's say 100 caps. Or you could even earn zero, keeping your mouth shut. Funny how I make caps every time I open my mouth. St. James' oh. problems, that's for sure. Never wants me to say a thing or for me to move around either. Lately, he brings a teddy bear with him and props it on the bed like it's watching us. Ugh, it's creepy as hell. Not the worst I've ever been with, but more perfect than most. Thanks, sweetie. You know you'll be back. I know I won't. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Come on, Ben. Good, we're gonna need it. St. James! We gotta go through this again? What's it about this time? Now. <laughs> Look what I found in your room. What are you doing stealing my stuff? I mean, it's fine, but it's private. Give it back. Hell, don't give it back. I don't care. Just found it when we was working salvage and thought I'd save it to give to some kid if one came by. Oh, yeah? Can I go through this again? What's it about this time? I hear you spend most of your camps on Sweetie. That's private. I don't go asking about how you like to get laid, and I don't want to know. Enough of that. And I found this pleasure in Dermot's room. You got his book. Dermot, this bastard got your book. He got your book. Heartless trash. Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the power of gangsters away. Should. Yes, it should. Right, let's get out of here. Actor. Yeah, be good. Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the power. That bond of yours don't look like anything else. Howdy. I heard it all over. Sorry to hear that, partner. Fourth and sister. Liquor. Let's say, uh, store? Klamath Bob's Liquor Store. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Bob. Uh, my name's Bob, but folks around here call me Klamath Bob. What can I do you for? I'll tell you, you're from Klamath then. <laughs> yeah, good old Klamath. Not a bad place if you like hunting, eating, and skinning geckos all day. <laughs> It's a pretty dull place, but I hear there was a bit of excitement when this tribal from Arroyo came to town years back. All before my time, though. From Arroyo? Uh, not a whole lot of people talk about the Chosen One anymore. <laughs> I have some questions about this area. I might have some answers for you. What did you want to know? Uh, what do you do around here, Bob? I'm in the liquor store on Westside. With things this rough, some folks need a lot of booze just to step out of the door in the morning. 
After I close the shop, I walk around and help keep it peace. Not that I'm good with a gun, mind you, but someone's got to do it, you know? Absolutely. Can you tell me about the west side? Well, things aren't great here, but I've seen a lot worse. We've got the fiends to the south of us, and that ain't good. The scorpions hang out at the Monte Carlo when they aren't seeing chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. Probably the best thing we've got going on is the co-op, run by Mr. Etienne. Get some help from the followers of the apocalypse, I think. You a lot of run-ins with the fiends? Not completely. The NCR is giving them hell any time they poke their damn heads out. Bless those boys and gals for getting rid of that vermin. I feel like for any man or woman that gets addicted to chems, but when they prey on decent folk, well, then it's time to put them down. Okay. Well, tell me about the scorpions. Well, typical gang of dumb bullies and angry nobodies. They're holed up a bit south of here, in the Monte Carlo Suites. They think they're tough, but any time they tangle with the fiends, they get torn right up. Mm. Now, what's so great about the co-op? Food from the people and for the people. Anyone can buy. Profits are shared by the folks who make the produce. Locals got these little gardens that do real well. Gosh darn well, truth be told. Etienne got some help from that Anderson kid, I think. Anyway, we don't got to rely on merchants so much. And it means the troopers can use all the food they make over on the east side. It works out nice. Yeah, it does. Well, enough about the west side. What else did you want to chat about? Um, well, yeah, do you know anything about that super mutant walking around? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's mean son of a bitch. I know that name sounds bad, but he likes it. He's one nasty old coot. As far as I can tell, he's one of them original super mutants, what came from the boneyard. Wondered about after that master fellow died. Eventually got caught somewhere around the hub back in NCR. Boy, they sure treated him mean down there. Got him up so bad he can't talk no more. I tried to buy him just so they'd stop hurting him. But they didn't want any of him. You know how he got away from the NCR? Turns out some of them night kids, whatever you call those sneaky super mutant types, got in and busted him out. I guess somebody named Tabitha led the bunch that freed him. Don't know much more than that. How did he end up here on the west side? He just showed up here one day. Couldn't really talk, but he remembered me all right. Ever since then, he's just been, well, hanging around, I guess. Does odd jobs for folks and smashes the bad guys when they come broken around. And the people aren't afraid of him? Some folks steer clear of him, for sure, but you don't seem to mind. Okay. What? Well, I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else, though. Sure. So what you got? All right, then. Hopefully I've got something to what you whistle. Yeah. You got some cards I wouldn't mind adding to my collection. Some tin cans. Yeah. Go with victory. Queen of spades, some scrap metal. Yeah, that'll help me a lot. Maybe a toaster. We'll see how that does. Now, I don't drink much of the heavy stuff, so I'll sell you some of my Wasteland tequila. And, uh... I get a good cola. There we go. Thanks, Bob. Okay, then. You take care. It's a nice little place you all have here. Come on, Boone, let's head out. I think maybe we'll help out Westside in a little bit more of a fun way. The Jackals and the Vipers used to be a whole lot more of a problem than they are these days. I'm sure you know your history, Boone. Ah. And all because... Someone just said one day, no, I'm not going to let you do it. So why don't we do that in the Monte Carlo? Who knows? Maybe somebody will move into this room and give it a makeover. Let's use some coin shot. Hey there, boys.
Denarius. Pull that right out. Yvette. Whiskey bottle, tin can, oh, we can definitely use the tin cans, dang, huh? That's a good idea. Let's see what else we can scavenge. This is the ship room. Three at one PM. Someone was a tinkerer. Wow. I think we may actually end up with uh a scrap maybe pretty soon. I will drink some sunset sarsaparilla. Good to go. Teddy bear. for me. Now we can 
try and head back to uh, Isaac. Make it back on the right side of the track here. Be doing pretty good. Might be time to turn our attention to the fiends here pretty soon. Energy. Uh, air attack park, and then we'll head back up to Isaac. Hey, there's plenty of tin cans at the air tech park as well, if I'm thinking right in that junk you did. Fine by me. Huh. I like to find me some sunglasses, too. Or maybe some of those authority shades that some of the rangers have. We could do for an upgrade. I just haven't found anything yet. That's the sad part. Captain Parker. I don't know what happened to those missing refugees. Yeah. St. James and Zermatt were behind it, but they're dead now. How do you know? Did you find proof? I found this evidence in the rooms. They attacked one I confronted. Oh, sick bastards. Can't say I'll shed any tears for them. Here, you learn this. Thank you, sir. Yeah, 150 caps. The hard one to swallow. Hello? Hi. Tin can, tin can, tin can. I didn't. Me to take the book.
There we go. to Isaac, hopefully be closer to uh, where we need to be. Then we can go back to Ken, tell Hildred what we really think about his uh, little job. Oh, maybe the private here will have something else to say about the sharecropper farms. Hey. Hey, Ortega. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, no. Bye. Yeah. Sorry. I don't have time to talk to her. Six in the evening. All right. Hey, guys. Yeah, I got some more scrap. What you got? I'll take these tin cans. Fifty-one. You got a scrap metal? Looks like the last bit you brought me was enough to fill the quota. Here are the caps I promised you. Make sure to let Contreras know the extra guns and ammo will be in the next ship. Uh, good, thanks. Later. Later. Okay. Yeah, now we're actually heading back to McCann. And now, Nat King Cole reminding us what really matters with Love Me As Though There Were No Tomorrow. Because in New Vegas, hey, you never know. You never know? So we'll need to talk to Hilder. Then we're heading back to Camp Four Lorne Hope. Whew. That will be something else, won't it? Last bit of light, but we made it. New Vegas. Thank you. 
trolling them up. Didn't think you'd be back. What's this about? Yeah, alright. Hey, Gorbats. What can I do for you? I'm alright. Okay. Are you still? You read Bitter Springs, I'm told. Yeah, I was there. I was Captain Doctor then. That whole situation was a mess. It could easily have been avoided with good intel. The major in charge at the time made a bad call. Thought Bitter Springs was full of great con raiders. So we surrounded the place. By the time any of us realized there were civilians down there, women and children, the shooting had already started. The major froze up with the news, and we couldn't get another word out of him. I took over and salvaged the situation as best I could. For my effort, I was promoted to major. Not quite the way I'd have wanted. No. But you made the right call once you could salvage the operation. What can you tell me about the great cons? We know they supply the fiends with illegal camps, but they never stick around and in see our territory for long. They know the land and move quick. There's talk from time to time about taking out their base at Red Rock Canyon. Nothing ever comes of it. The Great Khans are tough fighters. If we ever did go up against them on their home turf, we'd win. The casualties would be high. Yeah. I hear you're a uh, bitter roots father. Adopted father, yes. I was very proud when he made first recon. I know that every time I send them out, I could be sending him to his death. But if it's not me, it'll be somebody else. At least this way I get one more chance to see him. You're good man. So what do you know about the fiends? Back at the drug doc killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive man on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends that I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sounds like something that interests you. Yes. Yes, it does. Good. Figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. That's his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac. Damn good chef. You believe the fiends we've captured? Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good and see our men. Plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one's it gonna be? I'll take, uh... We'll start with Violet. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down. But we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother and never leave her side. Where can I find her? Good question. Being territory is southeast of here, but they reign all over the area. None of them stay in any one place for long. Okay, anything else I should know? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. You want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you. But don't get careless. Okay. So you're having trouble with these things. Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. I made you Daughtry. I'm on it. Oh, you get some time to rest, Boone. You too, Eddie. Looks like I'll be hunting alone. Okay. Hey, 
Angela. just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just ring him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps up on it. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Thank you. Miss Williams? There you go again. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. Oh, Doctor. And how are you? I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Yeah. Now the Vault 22 data is gone. Destroyed. Destroyed. Really. I find that hard to believe. More likely, you failed to locate the proper server. No, the plants in that vault were dangerous. We destroyed the data. We? We? You were a part of this? After we made an explicit agreement, you have the fucking goal to destroy the priceless scientific data? The authorities are going to hear about this. They're going to know your name. They're going to know your goddamn face. Now get out of this office. Get out. Yeah. What are you doing in my office? You're not welcome here. Get out. Oh, good to see you again. Good to see you. Might be the last time. Thank you. Something I can do for you? I was just checking in, Colonel. Who it is? I haven't had the privilege, but I'm told you've been an angel on our shoulder. What can we do for you at Camp Karen? Uh, let's take a look here. No. What the challenges are we facing? Everything was going according to President Kimball's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the strip and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Pretty much. How you doing, boy? You're back. I am. Uh, yeah. Nothing new. Go right ahead, Cooper. Oh, thank you. I can use the water right now. Think about enlisting. We need you here. Well, thank you. Man, Doc Kemp really fixed me up right the last time I got shot. He's the man to see if you need some fixing. Thank you. Well, Boone, we got a way on to the strip now, at least. Okay. Let's take a look. How you doing, Tennis Spades? Tennis Spades, first recon. Yes, sir. So, has Corporal Betsy told you anything more about her treatment? This again? Yeah, never mind. Alright. So, we'll need to make a plan, Boone. We'll need to make a plan. Oh, might as well. Right here. All right. Three card bounty. Kill Violet, preferably with her head intact. Okay, I can do that. Eddie, you will go ahead and wait here. Boom. Take some 
time off. While we're relaxed, and in the morning I'm going hunting. Resting. All right. And I think that's a fine place to go ahead to end the episode today as I prepare to get myself in a position. Boone is great, but he's great at headshots. So, we're going to have to do this on our own. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're enjoying the playthrough, please consider giving us a follow on twitch.tv slash jefftheNarrator469, or if you prefer to watch on YouTube, you can definitely find us there on YouTube under Jeff the Narrator. Oh, this will be a hard one to do, but... We'll do it. I got this assignment, I was hoping to be more gambling. Yeah, at least you're not gambling your life, soldier. Now, without Boone to spot for me, it's going to be a little bit harder to operate. But, in the next one, we're going to go fiend hunting. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hope you're doing well. And until next time, Keep telling stories.